some swa come my can channel the back and yum. So should I on, so should I bong some dog check my teeth. Fuck off. Some swa come my can channel the back and yum. Some swa come my can channel the back and yum. So should I on, so should I bong some dog check my tick tick. Socks a bye day, can yum socks a bye. Can yum look, can yum boobarang. Some toe, can yum clean, can yum ockham lang. Da chapa dam. We got there in the end. Sorry about that, I don't know what happened. We're going to have a little talk today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you some tips for when you're moving out here. Now, I understand that I posted a video on tips a while ago and I have deleted it because I look back on it and it could have been better. It was a bit cringe as well. To be honest, uh, you know, I was there with my shirt off. You know, number one tip. I was like, I, I've got to do another one. Plus, I wanted to um, give you more information as well because I've been here a bit longer now, okay, and I've, I've, I've become a bit wiser and I'm a bit more comfortable on the camera as well. So we'll, uh, we'll go from there, okay? Stay tuned. We'll go for a nice little walk also, yeah? You can see some, um, some I don't know, benches and stuff. I don't know. Just listen, okay? This is important. Okay, so tip number one. Learn the basics of the language before you come here, okay? Now, it's not that hard. The basics aren't hard, okay? The tones... Yeah, but there's not much vocab to actually teach. Trust me, there's not as many, there's no, there's hardly any synonyms, okay? Cambodia don't really use idioms and, and stuff. It's only, it, you know, for example, how you say bye, chumri player, and li hai. There's two ways. There might be more. Um, if there is, I'm sorry. I've, I've only been told there's two. Um, obviously, in England, there's loads of ways you can say goodbye, okay? This is what I mean. That There's hardly any synonyms. There's hardly any um, idioms. So... It, it's not it's not that hard to learn i'm not being big headed i only know the basics um i'm not fluent yet completely but i i am getting there i am and one of the best things to do is avoid and i know because a few people have actually said this on the channel you know use google translator don't all right speaking from experience don't one it's not entirely accurate I know that for a fact, it is not entirely accurate. Google, Google translation isn't 100%. It makes some mistakes, it really, really does. Um, and there's people that will back me up on that, okay? Another thing, if you use Google Translator, you're not going to learn a language because you've got Google Translator in your hand, okay? So you're going to, you're going to go to that, you know what I mean? It's like, it's the same as using a sat-nav in the uk if you use a sat nav you don't really learn the roots off by heart because you've got that sat nav in front of you so my advice would to just be go to a bar have a few drinks and, and ask the people behind the bar to teach you some kamai they'll, they'll laugh at it they'll get a kick from it and, and that's how i actually started i started my first night in phnom penh um, in some bar called the bistro a really really good bar um, one of my favourites and the girls behind the bar actually taught me some of the language um, and it started from there and you know they were really really cool about it and then the next day I'd come in and I'd practice it and just go from there and see what happens and experiments okay but you, you've, you've got to put yourself out there if you're just going to use Google Translator I guarantee you'll be using it all your time while you're here okay so that's tip number one so I forgot to mention sorry the basics are actually on my channel have a look I've done a lesson on them I've been told it's okay yeah not blow me on trumpet i've been told it's okay um and we'll leave it at that yeah it's okay it'll do for now tip number two a good way to save money stick to the kamai food i might have mentioned it before so i apologize for repeating myself but stick to the kamai food that way you will save money the kamai food is cheap as chips okay it's like two dollars fifty for a good decent meal you know and you get your rice you get your veg you get your uh, meat you get it you get everything on one plate so it fills you up okay it's good food it's good for you it's healthy okay and you'll save a lot of money the western food round here and on pen sea and reap especially round here rounds five we've not really got much western food okay but again it's still it's still more expensive than the actual um kamai cuisine okay so if you want to save money stick to the kamai food okay and it's good for you okay it's a good tip tip number three okay this doesn't apply to everyone i know some people might want to go to the big cities some people are just visiting this really applies to the people who want to you know change of life they want to change the scenery and the advice would be to go to a rural area yeah stay in a rural area even if it's just to start with that way you will save money okay and you've got no choice but to pick up the language and you'll embrace the culture more okay because there's not that many expats okay 
it's not as big as a drinking scene as, as Phnom Penh or, or Siem Reap, okay? So it's a really, really good place to start fresh and get clean and get sober, okay? It's really, really helped me. Like I said, this does not apply to everyone. Little Margaret, who's coming here to retire, who likes a few sherries, it doesn't apply to you. Sit still, it's okay, calm down, okay? You can go to Pub Street, this does not apply to you, okay? This applies to people who want to come here to change their life, okay? I would recommend going to a rural area, okay? Yeah, have a look at some of the um, provinces on the outskirts, okay? The, these are the places I'm talking about because there's so much nature. The people are amazing. There's not that many expats, okay? Nothing against expats. I'm one myself. I'm just saying, if you stay around that community, you're not going to learn a language. You're not going to get used to the Khmer food, okay? You, you basically... You, you could go back to your old um, your old ways that that's all i'll say okay so that's tip number three i'm gonna um i'm gonna get i'm, I'm gonna sit here i'm gonna get some shade because it, it's too hot i'm sweating man Ugh. right okay there was, a, there was a guy um asleep behind that tree and i've just woke him up i feel terrible i didn't know he was there um tip number four I don't know, can't think. That's it, I've remembered. Okay, tip number four, be very, very careful of the pharmacy. Okay, now, it's great because you can get anything you want at a good price, which is how it should be, in my opinion. In the UK, they send you on a wild, wild goose chase to try and justify the prices of what you need, in my opinion. That's why they ask you questions like, you know, do you know how to take these? Do you know how to take these? It's like, yeah, you, you eat them. You, you know, what, what else do you do? You just start sticking them in your ear. So it's a good thing that you can come here and get anything you want, you, you know, uh, that, that's how it should be in my opinion, you know, as long as you're over 18. Um, and, it, and, and it's at a good price, it's how it should be um, in my opinion, okay? Just spit from someone who's, who's got um, back pain. I had a massive back operation in 2017, I had my spine fused together. Um, so, you know, so I'm, I'm I'm in quite a bit of pain every day, but I I just go to the gym, I work out. To be honest, that the sun really helps. Heat therapy helps with it. Um, I don't I hardly drink anymore. Okay, I'm I'm clean from any drug. You know, so I'm in, I'm, I'm in the and I go to the gym every day. So I'm in good shape. So I'm not in as much pain as as I was in the UK, but I'm still in a bit of pain. Okay, but I've luckily I've not you know fell into that um fell into that cycle of 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 painkillers um. The stuff I was I, I was I was addicted to other things in the UK, um, but it was never painkillers. Okay, but if you're addicted to those, if you've got an addiction with narcotics, then you're going to struggle in Cambodia, um, in my opinion. Unless you sort that addiction out before you come here, like I said, you can get anything. Okay, at the drop of a hat, and it's a good price. So yeah, just just be very very careful um, of the pharmacies around here. Tip number five. It's getting a bit heavy now, but I've got I've got to say it. Um, be very careful who you trust okay and i'm not talking i'm not talking about um you know the local Khmer. I'm, I'm talking about expats um especially you've got to understand a lot of people come here to change their life or, or escape something and i've got no shame in saying i, I come here to recreate me myself because you know what happened to me in the uk that the treatment i got after i you know told people um I had this addiction problem. I think the treatment I got was very, very unfair. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to feel sorry for myself, but you know, need, needless to say, I, I had to start again. I had to find my self-esteem was ruined. My ego was gone. You, you know, it was just, it, it, it was horrible. Um, it was a really, really horrible place, and you know, I, I had no one. I was nothing left. I, I had to start fresh. So, you know, I've got no shame in admitting that. I had to come here to start over and, and start start my start a new life. Um, with that said, a lot of people come here with a lot a lot of trauma and and a lot of a lot of demons, and you've got to be careful who you trust, okay? Because like I said, a lot of people do come here to recreate themselves, and you might not know who you know who they are exactly. So just be careful of you come here with the attitude of trusting no one. Don't be rude, but just be really, really hyper vigilant, okay? Who you put your faith in. You've got to be careful. You've really, really got to be careful. Um, I'll say this, you, you know, there, there, there's some dodgy, there's some dodgy bastards, um, and I've met some of them. No names, obviously. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just being real. Yeah, I have. I've, I've met some, and I'm the, not Kamai's, the, the foreigners, okay? And there is some dodgy people around here. So you've just got to be really, really careful who you put your trust in and who you put your faith in, okay? 
just come here and be hyper vigilant and like I said yeah just slowly get to know people try and keep yourself to yourself okay don't just like you know hi everyone me 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 you know don't you know just just be careful tip number six get with aba bank as soon as possible now have a look at the requirements to get that because they change okay and i've heard some people are different some people have only had to prove where they live and show a work permit other people have needed a visa it's stuff like that um, i'm not entirely sure so i do apologize but you do need some administration sorted before you get with aba okay and um, but it is different for each person depending on what you've got so yeah get with ab bank as soon as possible they're a good bank they're very reliable that way you're not spending money when you're making cash transactions and um, you'll get charged here in the machines and your bank from home they'll charge you too you know so it worked out i was getting i was getting charged about um i think it was five dollars here and, and five pound in the uk for each transaction you know so You've got to be careful and um, maybe draw draw a big clump of money out to start with that way you're not it, it, small transitions or uh, sorry you're not using small transactions all the time and you're going to waste more money okay and like i said get with aba bank as soon as possible aba are the best ones um, in my opinion okay and it's just an app on your phone and then you've got your contactless that works as a card for you you've got all your details there on your phone and um, you can transfer money um, and stuff like that it, it, it's a good bank okay and, and they're reliable so far so good so yeah get with ab bank as quickly as possible your requirements may differ okay yeah tip number seven use real rather than dollars use real rather than dollars okay um, and you can look into this okay basically in a nutshell there's just less chance of you being ripped off if you use real rather than dollars okay yeah so tip number seven use real don't use dollars tip number eight buy a scooter okay you can buy a second hand one from a shop um for about four hundred dollars okay um they're very very cheap to run it's easy to drive around here you've just got to take it slow i promise you you've just got to take it slow it's a bit more hectic in the cities especially like you know phnom penh but you know what i mean so today just take it slow and you'll be okay you don't want to be wasting your money on tuk-tuks all the time okay and, and it, it's a pain in the ass waiting for them sometimes and i promise you when you don't need a tuk-tuk you see them all the time and then when you need one you don't see them <laughs> they just disappear and, and it's, it's crazy you'll know what i mean when you get here it, it's dead annoying so just buy buy invest in a scooter drive slow or, or a bike you'll, you'll you'll be okay um you can get a 125 bike 125 cc that's what i've got that i, I learned on and then i bought a dirt bike probably shouldn't but you know if i can do it then, then and, uh, anyone else can but yeah buy buy a bike um, or a scooter if you're staying here long term that is okay and it's really nice sometimes it's nice to just get out and have a drive especially in these rural areas there's so much nature you'll come across temples you've never seen before you feel like you're on tomb raider it's amazing so yeah tip number eight buy invest in a, in a in a decent scooter you can get one second hand try and avoid going online for them okay try and go to a shop there are second hand dealers around here if you get one online they may just drop it off to you and there may be problems with it You've, you're not going to be able to spend to use that bike um long enough to realize if there's any mistakes with it, if there's anything wrong okay so it's good to go to a legit shop okay with that said i know people who've bought stuff online and it's been fine but it's just my advice okay tip number nine very very important now, quite a few of my subscribers have got uh, mental health issues, which you know I'm 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 really happy that you know because that's that, that's kind of my audience. You know, I think I think 90% of men have like, mental health issues. If I'm honest with you, it just depends on the severity. You know, but if if coming here can help you, like like it helped me, then I'm I'm really happy and and you know I appreciate the support you've given me and I want to give you support too. With that said, I come here with a lot of problems. I did, and I've, I've, I've had my troubles. I've had breakdowns, okay? Something I've not really spoke about on the vlogs. It's took me a while to get to where I am, is what I'm saying. And it would have been better if I sorted out my head in the UK before I come here. You know, it's not been easy for me. Obviously, I'm not going to vlog if, if I'm having a bad day. You know, I probably could for content, get the views, but I'm not one of these fake people, you know. Like, I'm, I'm just, it, it is what it is okay I've, I've had a lot of breakdowns i've cried i am um, you, you know to so many people i've, I've had so much support here you know and, and, and I, owe, I owe cambodia and the people around me um 
a massive thank you because if it wasn't for them then I, I wouldn't have had I wouldn't have got me shit together you know but I, when, when I come here I come here with so much baggage it was hard to get you know clean and it was hard to get sober you, you know so my advice would be you know if you're if you do if you are coming here to start over maybe sort out your stuff sort out your head before you come here so it's a bit it's a bit it's a smoother process is what i'm trying to say and no this doesn't apply to you little margaret who's going to spend the um, remaining days at pub street okay having a few beers this does not apply to you okay do whatever you want i'm talking about people who are coming here to start over who, who may be coming here with a lot of demons or or who have a lot of trauma okay my advice would be to sort your head out before you come here because it's a very, very easy place to go back into old habits. You've got the pharmacy, you can get whatever. You can get drugs around here, folks, okay? Make no mistake, you can get drugs around here, especially in Phnom Penh and, and Pub Street. Something people don't want to admit, something people don't like to say, trust me, you can, okay? You can get drugs, um, in, you can get drugs anywhere, but especially in Phnom Penh and Siem Reap. So be very, very careful, okay? Be very, very careful. You've also got the beer, it's very, very cheap. It's so cheap, okay? So if you're, if you're an alcoholic and you're coming to Cambodia, it, it, it's gonna swallow you up. It, it, the place Southeast Asia has swallowed up so many people, make no, mis make no mistake, especially Brits, because we like a drink, it's part of our culture, yeah? And we like to think we're not alcoholics, but let's be honest, mo mo most, of, most of us are, okay? I know so many people who finish the work and just sit on the couch and have a few beers and they justify it because it's like, well, I still pay the bills. It's, it's like, you're still drinking every night, man. You know, I'm not judging, Jesus Christ. I, I used to do it myself, you know. Um, but if you've got that mentality and you're coming to Cambodia and it's what, 70 cents a beer? And what is it in the UK? What, like three pound, four pound 50 some places? You're in paradise and it's great but it's very you, you could go back down that path so like i said you know sort sort your shit out before you come here okay tip number 10 please like share and subscribe our country on our country on bong chumri blia cambodia some recreate prepara tempo tai kluen okon okon